Hello and welcome to the episode 189 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The start of a quick summer residency, the birth of the initial Obladi Oblada hook, and more work on Here Comes the Sun are the most prominent spots on today's episode. On the 8th of July 1962, the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums, performed an evening concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. One year later, in 1963, we get another gig. The band, now with its final lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, was engaged with the first of six consecutive evenings at the Winter Gardens in Margate, playing two concerts per night. The Beatles performed Roll Over Beethoven, Thank You Girl, Chains, Please Please Me, A Taste of Honey, I Saw Her Standing There, Baby It's You, From Me To You, and Twist and Shout for the duration of the residency. Two things happened on this date in 1966. At 6 am, four angry Beatles landed in London from New Delhi, India. Their anticipated Indian holiday had to be cut short to escape the madness of Beatlemania, and the band was still shaken from what had happened in the Philippines. We covered that in episode 184 to 186 of What a Fab Day. A press conference focusing on their troubles was held right at the airport. After that, George Harrison and Ringo Starr were interviewed by BBC reporter Tom Mangold. Ask what the band's plans for the immediate future were, Harrison jokingly commented, We're going to have a couple of weeks to recuperate before we go and get beaten up by the Americans. He could have not known the joke was going to be on the Beatles. You'll have to wait until episode 210 to start seeing how. Also today, Nowhere Man, the Beatles' 12th EP, came out in UK. Containing Nowhere Man, Drive My Car, Michelle and You Won't See Me, the EP did well in the sales department, reaching number 4 in UK and selling enough to have a spot in the charts for 18 weeks, despite the fact that the material had been on the market for 6 months at the time of this release. In 1968, in the early afternoon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr attended a press screening of the Yellow Submarine animated film at the Bowwater House Cinema in London. It was the first time they saw the finished version of the film. The group posed for pictures with a cardboard cutout of the cartoon version of John Lennon and a life-sized reproduction of one of the minis, and then replied to some questions from the press. Later in the day, from 5 pm, the band, or rather, Paul McCartney, decided to have a remake of O Bladi O Blada. The Fab Four recorded 12 new takes of the rhythm track of the song at the EMI Studios. For the first time, the track featured the introductory piano hook, performed by John Lennon, who had got in late, either stoned or beside himself with anguish at having to re-record the song again. He played the initial chord louder and faster than he had done in the previous version, in a music hall style. Both John and George had already voiced their dislike for the song, and the remake, and Paul's perfectionism, worsened the tensions in the band to a considerable extent. In fact, John's music hall chord did not happen by chance. It was a not so veiled reference to when, on one occasion, he had openly told Paul that Obladi Oblada was granny music shit. The session was completed at 3 am with a reduction of take 12 onto take 13 and with the overdubbing of lead and backing vocals and percussions. A rough mono mix was given to Paul to listen at home. More studio work in 1969, again at the EMI Studios, still without John Lennon. The 2.30 to 10.45 pm session, 
focused on Here Comes the Sun, with George overdubbing his lead vocals and Paul a couple of background vocal parts. Drum fills and some electric guitar work were also added to the track. The work was concluded with two reduction mixes and one rough mono mix of the song. But the work won't be concluded here until I remind you once again to please visit www.simonmas.com support to find out the many ways in which you can show me how fab you really are. Come on now, most of them things are completely free. Do you really want to hurt me? Oh, oh no, that's for another podcast. Anyhow, tomorrow we'll talk about how a bed made its way to a Beatles studio session. Fun times. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.